Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Magic the Gathering Pioneer. That's right, we're getting into the Pioneer format with some Mill. So I've been enjoying Mill in Arena for the past like month or so now. It's been great. And uh, I wanted to try my hand at Pioneer. Everybody's playing Pioneer. It's a hot new thing. I figured I'd jump on board, see what we can do with some Mill. Um, looks pretty fun. We're missing uh, a couple things I'd love to have in here, like Jace's Phantasm and stuff like that, because I, I tend to go more towards, like, uh, I have Vantress Gargoyle in this, if that tells you anything. I like to get a little aggro. I like to have that. You know, we've got Consuming uh, Aberration in here, too. So let me go over the deck list that I put together. Um, may not be the best. I don't know what the meta is in Pioneer. I don't think there really is a meta right now in Pioneer. Uh, but this is the deck list that we have right now, so let me go over it. Uh, and feel free to give suggestions what you think uh, should be cut or shouldn't be necessary in there uh, I have my thoughts on like into the story and stuff like that, but we'll get into that here So first things first our great new addition to the mill family here merfolk secret keeper and it's merfolk So, you know, I love it. You know, I love this card a nice zero four wall with venture deeper put the top four cards into their graveyard We've got the tome scour for one put top five cards in drown secrets uh I don't know how good it's going to be in Pioneer. It's only two cards whenever we cast a blue spell, which all our stuff is blue for the most part. Um, so it could it could potentially go off still like it does in Standard, uh, but I would definitely enjoy Frank Sanity more over Drown Secrets. We have the Frank San Sanity in here too, but maybe this can be cut down to like two uh, for maybe something else. I don't know. Uh, but we got four for now. We're going to see how it works. Manic Scribe, Classic Mill card as well. Uh, enters the battlefield. Top three cards go into the graveyard. Then it's got Delirium. Uh, if they're, uh, I got to get used to this card. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if there are four more card types among cards in your graveyard, that player puts top three cards into their library, into their graveyard, of their library, into their graveyard. Uh, so it has the potential to mill them for more over time. Uh, we've got the, the OP Mind Sculpt here. Top seven cards into their library. Straight away, Sorcery 2 drop. Vantress Gargoyle. I like me my Vantress Gargoyle. I like attacking in the air for five. It's pretty nice. Uh, again, the Frank Sanity. Good uh, enchant player card. Have them mill everything uh, again that we already milled them for that turn. Uh, into the story. Here's my thing with Into the Story. It's a good card draw outlet, especially for mill. Uh, but is it going to be better with something like Radical Idea or um, there's other, there's obviously plenty of card draw potential out there. So do we want Into the Story or do we want something else for our card draw potential let me know in the comments i'm gonna try out into the story but maybe there's better options out there uh drown in the lock i've been wanting to play with this card it's uh great for mill it's a two drop one blue one black counter target spell with confirmed mana cost less than or equal to the number of cards in its controller's graveyard and uh the way we're milling we can pretty much counter anything we feel like as long as they're not exiling other cards out of the graveyard and stuff which we got to look out for and then it's also got a second ability which is a destroy target creature with converter mana cost less than or equal to the number of cards in controller's graveyard so we got a problem we can take care of it with drown the lock uh other aggro plan or other backup plan is uh an awesome card which i've played before in my own paper builds of crazy millage nonsense um i think i got this to like a like a 32-32 at one point. <laughs> it was pretty insane. Uh, but considering uh, Aberration, power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your opponent's graveyard. And whenever we cast a spell, each opponent reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a land card and then puts those cards into their graveyard. So, super cool card. Uh, I'm excited to see how nasty this thing gets. As far as our mana base goes, we got four Drowned Catacombs. We've got eight lands, three Mystic Sanctuaries. I want to keep... Putting our instants and sorceries back on top of our library, our mind sculpts, our tome scours, they're going to come back on top. So I have three of them in there. Maybe it's even worth having four, but I didn't want to overload with any like tap lands. Uh, we've just got three swamps. So we don't have a lot of black in the deck, but we have just a couple just in case. And then four watery graves. Uh, of course, a must. Uh, sideboard, sideboard, sideboard. Psychic corrosion. Sideboard probably can be cleaned up a little bit better depending on the meta. Um, so please comment below what you've been seeing in pioneer because i have yet to play pioneer myself i've only watched people play pioneer so i know some of the decks that are out there and some of the things that i'm seeing there could be better options for this sideboard so let me know what you guys think and what you've been seeing in pioneer we got psychic corrosion if we want to put down more enchantments to keep milling them we've got two of them uh more counter spells if we really need to get our counter spell grind down thought collapse easy answer right there or we could have more with didn't say please but i put in four thought collapses 
Uh, more answers uh, to creatures and things. Fatal push, uh, four of, just in case we need to sideboard those in against uh, important cards that we need to pop off right away. Uh, thought erasure, if we need to start you know, doing a little bit of hand destruction, we can start doing that with thought erasure. Um, and then this card, I was seeing in some other Pioneer Mill lists. I don't really know what to think about this card or expect about this card. It seems pretty sweet, but uh, seems pretty insane as well. So I only have two of them in the sideboard. I don't know if it's even worth in the deck, but let me know what you guys, uh, what your guys' thoughts are on this. And if you've used Mnemonic Betrayal, Mnemonic Betrayal? Yeah, whatever. So, exile all cards from opponent's graveyards. You may cast those cards this turn. You may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast those spells. At the beginning of the next end step, if any of those cards remain exiled, return them to their owner's graveyard. And then exile the betrayal card. Weird card. Weird card. Um, I don't know how useful it's going to be. And this could be an easy cut out of our sideboard. Or maybe it needs to be in the main board. Some people were playing with this in the main board. So, I don't know. Interesting. Very interesting. But let me know what you guys think. This is the deck list. Uh, as it stands right now, we're going to test it out. Haven't played it before. You'll be seeing the first game I play. So that should be pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, let's jump into this thing and find us a game. All right. We got ourselves a game here against Snowman. Looks like we're playing first. Let's see uh, how we work this thing out. Uh, looks like we got a one lander. Not ideal. Not ideal. We can play Merfolk Secret Keeper and hope for another land. I don't know how to, uh, you know, bear with me, guys. I haven't played Pioneer before. This first time playing the deck. I'm going to mulligan because we got some expensive cards like the Aberration. But that's about it. We just need one more land. I don't really know if this is going to be worth the keep or not. So let's mully it. All right, let's keep this. We'll drop an island. And we'll hope. Let's see how we do. Let's, uh, let's show them what we're about here. Boom. Tome score. Uh, let's see what they're playing with. Uh, Rogue Refiner. Rogue Refiner deck. Okay. Royal Scions. Okay, we hit some good stuff. That's good. That's good to know what we're up against here. Uh, Rogue Refiner is a pretty key piece of the deck. I don't know what deck we're playing uh, against right now. I just know Rogue Refiner is part of those combo pieces that they can go off on. So... The fact that we hit two of them is a very good thing, and we hit the Royal Scion, so happy about that. Drown Secrets. Let's pop that down now. Start setting up our milling potential. Still need to pull into a Black Source for Drown in the Lock. That could become pretty relevant very soon here. And they're passing. Frank Sanity. Oh, I want to get that down too. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Select them. We're going to have some triggers. We are going to have some triggers. Now uh, they're going to deal with our guy right away. Uh, that should still trigger their thing though, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What else did we hit here? A Hydra. Oh, boy. Hydra. Bunch of energy stuff. Okay. Yeah, this is a big combo deck, so... Let's see how we do. We got him at 40 cards. Not bad, not bad. Ah, right, they got the Rogue Refiner. We can destroy him if we need to. We might want to. But they already got good value out of him, so. Vantress? Hmm. Okay, we'll play what we can play here. Let's get it down. Can't block with him. We need to have four cards in our hand to block with him. He may be uh, getting taken out fast, too, depending. I'm sure they got plenty of removal. The braid does three damage, though. We'll see. Maybe we're in a good position. We'll race a little bit. Okay. Every deals damage to a player. Hmm. Okay. Land? Give me some black mana. Mm, not black mana, but we'll take the other mana scribe. It's a good block. We can block the, the cub. I like it, I like it. Let's see, what else are we hitting here? We should probably, like, 
pop this out so we can see everything we're hitting. What do you guys think? Doesn't really get closer to the ether. I feel like we're hitting pretty good stuff. Let's go ahead and tack in. Get him for five. 30 cards. Little uh, stuck on mana. But, you know, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We can block the cub at least, which is good. Hmm. That's not good. It's a 4 3. We can kill it though. Oh, I didn't realize it gets counters. Guess I should read the whole thing. Pay to put a counter on. Alright, well, our Manic Scribe's gonna die. I didn't realize that. Okay, we're gonna be getting hit for ski six now. A turn. Oh, actually, more than that now. We really, really need our land. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> we got him at 23 cards. We're hitting a lot of stuff. Can't block, so we're just gonna swing in. Uh, but we're looking... It's looking bleak. They can hit us for a lot this turn. Twenty-two cards. <laughs> we are super far away from the aberration, which is unfortunate. Another Hydra, sweet. Yuck. We're gonna be dead next turn. We got some work to do. Oh frick, oh frick. Where'd they get the charges? From the Hydra? Alright, we're just dead. GG. G Alright, we get it, we get it. We're dead, we get it, we get it. We'll sideboard. <laughs> Alright. Um, hmm. Do we want anything from the sideboard? I don't know. We could bring in Thought Erasures. Consuming Aberration seems pretty decent. Um, it'll be able to block a lot of good stuff. Guys, I don't know how to sideboard with this deck yet. Alright, we're just going to run it back. Uh, probably an argument for Thought Erasure. But what to take out, you know? I don't know. Let's just let's just run it back. I'm really not sure what to sideboard in. I really don't even know the full entirety of how this deck works. Uh, I'm sure there's more of a combo than just uh, pumping up his creatures to a 7-7. But, I mean, it seems to work good enough. So... Uh, we uh, might have been able to survive if we had just pulled into our black mana for Drowning Lock. We could have killed that thing. Let him pump it up all the way as much as he wants and then just kill it. Would have been hard to win though still. We will play first. Alright. This is a keepable hand. Double Drown Secrets. We got our stuff. Let's do this. Let me play. Start out. We got a refill too, but we're gonna need more land for that. Hit another rogue refiner, two stomping grounds, a tune with the ether. Alright, they got another tune with the ether. Okay, start getting their energy counters going. Good old like energy refiner deck. It's interesting. They get a forest. Start putting down our Drown Secrets. That's what I mean, man. I don't know. Drown Secrets, good card, but like, is it good in Pioneer? It might be a little too slow for Pioneer. We're about to get two of them, though. Ooh, that's nice. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll pay. Put down another Drown. Hit them like this. And we'll uh, tome scour them. Hit them for quite a bit. Cool, cool. Down to 34 cards. 
We took out a glory bringer. That guy's a pretty nasty guy. We'll have Drown of the Lock set up for next turn to either counter or destroy something if we need to. Maybe a Hydra. I don't know how fast they can ramp into their Hydras, but we'll see. Swinging in for two. Mind Sculpt. Ooh, do we want a Mind Sculpt? I think we can afford to Mind Sculpt this turn. They haven't played anything too crazy, and then we can just destroy anything that they do. I need to, like, put this up here. There we go. All right, we're hitting them for a lot this turn. We can bring them all the way down to under 20 or something around there. Right around 20. Oh, negate. You, you stinker. Fair enough. It's a good thing to negate. And they brought in Mystical Disputes too, which I didn't realize, but we got a Mystical Dispute over here, which is another counter spell. Uh oh, what are you doing? What is this? Uh... Well, we're gonna go ahead and counter that. There's a chance we can just hit another one drop milling spell at least. I'm not gonna take a full turn off though. We're gonna not let you get your 5 6, that's for sure. You'll get your triggers, but. Ugh, that's nasty. All right, yeah. All right, so we're tapped out for the turn. Let's see what we draw. Fring Sanity. Okay. That'll be good to just get some residual mill going every uh, end step. And we're one mana short of an Into the Story, which we may even want to do first. Uh-oh, Glorybringer. That's gnarly. Okay. Mystic Sanctuary. It's going to come in tapped. It's unfortunate. They got us on a big clock here. Got them down to 19 cards, and now they're going to go to 15 cards. So we're getting them very close here. We can end the story next turn. Unfortunately, they've got us on uh, a little bit of a clock. Three-turn clock. Closer to a two-turn, actually. They can start pumping the cub next turn. Got no blocks. Uh, hopefully, they don't counter our into the story. So that would not be fun. No counter. I need this. No. No. Oh. Oh, you're returning Frank Sanity. Okay. All right. Just let me have my card draw. That's all I ask. There we go. All right. How much does it cost? Two. They're at 10 cards. Okay. Let's see if we can survive. Um... Uh, they need to get some more counters in order for them to kill us, uh, which I'm sure they can. They can get us to one right now, but if they can do another thing. All right, we go to one. Fair enough. Let's see if we can get these last nine cards. <sighs> How do we want to do this? I guess we're just going to try to do a Drown Secrets, and then we'll Mind Sculpt. And then we should uh, be able to wrap this up. That's fine. We can pay three? We'll just say no. Put him to one card right here. There we go. 
There we go. There's the mill. Let's go. That's a close one. That's close. Ah, let's just run it back. Let's run it back. I don't know. We're doing pretty good against him, honestly. Um, fail push isn't, like, super great. Uh... Thought claps. I'm happy with what we have right now. I, I need some suggestions for sideboard for more relevant cards, I think. I know, like, Fatal Push is a super relevant card. That's gonna definitely be kept in. Thought Collapse. Is it necessary to have extra counter spells since we already have the draw on the lock? Who knows? Alright. Yeah, this looks good. I like it. Keep. Get him some energy. Another Drowned Secrets. That's nice. Hit a Cub. Hit a Mystical Dispute. Oh, Mind Sculpt. Let's just set up for the long game here. Another mystical dispute. All right, fair enough. No, we can't pay for it. Passing. Uh oh. Hmm. So what you got? Another mystical dispute. I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass. We can like counter something and then we can put down two things next turn. If they're not doing anything, we don't necessarily have to do anything. There we go. Drown in the lock, man. Drown in the lock. I like it. Let's go here. We will go Drown Secrets. They're tapped out, so let's go ahead and get this Mind Sculpt going. Mind Sculpt. Put them down to 36 cards. Pass the turn. Two cards left in our hand. We're going to need to refill. Let's see what we've been hitting here. Steam Vents Tireless Tracker. All right, they got a Hydra. That's not good. Ruler Virtuoso, Sanctum of Ugin. Okay. Man. It's one of those decks that I'm just scared of right now because I don't know how any of these cards work. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and read every single one, but like, yeah, it's, it's pretty nasty. You got to stop at my upkeep, bro. There we go. I uh, will say no. And we'll get these going. We'll get our creatures going. We'll keep milling them. That's all we can do. Put them in 28 cards. Let's see if they can deal with our Vantress. They might be able to. Rogue Refiner. And they can pay three and put a counter on him and he gains X proof. Okay. We're going to start to race a little bit. It looks like not going to block right now. That's an unfortunate draw. We're going to race a little bit. I like Vantress. I know some people won't agree that it's like maybe the best card, but uh, and I know a lot of lists don't include him, but I like him. I like him. It just like I think it just puts a really crappy mindset into the opponent's player, where all of a sudden they're getting milled, milled, milled. All of a sudden they have a five-four creature attacking them every turn. Like that's the crazy part, you know. We're gonna take one more hit from this, and then we're gonna start chump blocking it. Because our life total is getting pretty nasty and we keep drawing lands. We're flooding. I've got 22 lands in the deck. Should I cut it down to 20? I don't know. 
Let me know if maybe my uh, mana base is a little screwy. Um, we could cut it down to 20. I don't know. Um, let's just pretend like we got something, I suppose. We're going to get hit for 6. Our manic scribe is going to die. Never mind. We're just going to die. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Oh, well. Good game. Well, we had it close. It would have been nice if we could have uh, drowned secrets, manic scribe. Mm. So, should we up our into the stories? Should we have some ops or something in there just for quick card draw potential? Uh, that's something that I'm questioning about the deck. Like, do we need some more quick card draw potential? That's, that's what I'm wondering about. The, like, radical idea and stuff. It's it's a two drop, it's not four drop, we don't have to wait till we have four mana up to start drawing some more cards, but let me know what you guys think of the deck. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. We got we lost, but you know, it was the first game I've played against a uh, pretty strong deck. Pretty strong deck, so uh, but they let us uh, win game two. Thanks. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoyed. If you want to see some more Pioneer Mill, make sure to subscribe. We're probably gonna be playing this some more. And stay tuned for some more uh, Mill in Arena if you've been enjoying that. We're not done with that yet either. And we will see you guys in the next video.